What's going on, everybody? <laughs> it's your girl, Dana Patrice, a.k.a. The Blackberry. Welcome to all my subbies and guests. I love y'all. Thank you so much for the continued love and support. This reading is a message from your divine masculine, and I hope I can provide you some clarity, love, and light to you on your journeys. It is timeless, okay? Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and click that bell if it resonates, and it won't for everybody, and that's cool, but let's get into it. What is it. going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, and I am here because I am doing a reading from your Divine Masculines. Um, let's just jump right in and see what they have to say. I'm going to start by reading the energy, and then we'll go into the reading itself. Spirit, what is the energy for our Divine, our divine Masculines? What is the energy, Spirit, we call you forward? And love, light, righteousness, and truth. What is the energy, Spirit? Energy of our divine masculines. Energy from the thank you, spirit. <laughs> So once again, and I've been doing this for like, a, every time I mess, I, I get to Divine Masculine, they're never looking inside, they're never doing the work, <laughs> and they aren't feeling safe to do so. They're not feeling safe to look inside, they're scared of what they'll find. We have um, Awakening Your True Self in reverse, they're still in this stubborn as fuck energy, unable to let go, um, even though the problem has been resolved. They cannot break free. They cannot break free right now, y'all. They're just avoiding everything it is <laughs> that spirit is calling them to do. Which is, you know, quite pathetic at the end of the day. Um, our divine masculines definitely need to get it together. The problem's already been resolved. I feel like many of you are open to forgiving them for ghosting or whatever the case may be. But they're not letting go. They're not feeling safe to come forward. They're not willing to do the work to even recognize why they're in this position with you in the first place. And this is a part of the problem. Let's get into the actual reading. I'm going to put these cards to the side as I don't have room for both. Um, Spirit, give us a message from our Divine Masculines, please. Message from our Divine Masculine Spirit. We call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. Three more cards, Spirit, if I could. These three more cards. Thank you. Oh, okay, I like this. <laughs> so although we know that our person, they're not ready to come forward, our divine masculine is ready to come forward, hasn't faced the truth, hasn't faced what it is that they desire, like pretty much you. I feel like they're avoiding the issues. They're not looking within. They're avoiding their feelings for you at this time. Here with the strength card in reverse, not finding the strength to come forward, not being able to recognize this. I mean, we saw that with the fairy oracle deck, with struggling to break free, letting go, you know, um, awakening their true selves, feeling safe. Like they're, they're just not feeling it, right? And this is all represented in the strength card in reverse. They don't have the strength to move forward. And it's because they feel like they've missed this opportunity with you. They feel like they've missed this opportunity with you, like spirit gave them a chance and they didn't know what they had until it was gone. And it will take them getting over this burden, right? It will take them getting over all of this to, to make this connection come true, right? So that's what I'm seeing. In order, if they want this connection to come through, they want, they want this connection to... Um, come into fruition, they've got to get over themselves, okay? They've got to get over themselves and they're just not ready to clarify, oops, clarify strength and reverse spirit. Clarify strength and reverse from our divine masculine spirit. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're not seeing this new opportunity. They don't see the opportunity they have to change things around and turn things around with you. What else for um, strength and reverse spirit? Anything else? Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm actually going to pull some romance angels, okay? Spirit, clarify this message from Divine Masculine. Yeah, they think that you deserve better than them. With that you deserve love, right? You are lovable. They know that you are lovable. They don't believe that you deserve love from them. They're highly, highly attracted to you. But they don't think you can get over what happened in the past. That you're still going to focus on the red flags. They're not even over what they did to you. Clarify you deserve love, Spirit, from our Divine Masculines. Clarify you deserve love. Ooh. Yeah, again, strength card in reverse, right? They don't feel like they're the one for you. They don't think like you see them as that. They know that they hurt you and they can't get over that. They're not ready to face it. They're avoiding this truth. They're avoiding the healing to come from this truth. They're avoiding accepting their part in this truth, right? They're avoiding, they, they're super passionate about you. They want a passionate beginning with you, but they don't think that you'll accept it with the two of cups in the reverse. Again, they feel like this is a lost opportunity. They're clearly attracted to you. Clarify, uh, pay attention to the red flags in reverse. They're really fighting this um, divine connection. Spirit is like, I'm not having it. That's a bit much, Spirit. So pay attention. Again, they want, they, they can't come forward because they feel like you're holding on to all of this. They're hoping that they can, that you can move past it. That's what they're trying to see. But it's preventing them from taking action moving forward, even as the Page of Swords in reverse here. Right? They're afraid, like the King of Wands, that there's something separating you. I do feel like some of you may even have, like, some sort of court order, maybe having to do with children, feeling like the law is involved. Maybe you may have a restraining order on this person. I really hope. I don't think that's divine masculine energy. But there is this energy of some type of law enforcement situation separating you guys or making them feel like they cannot move forward. Something is standing in between. Or it's just your energy, your authoritative energy. Like, maybe you really ain't about this shit. And you're like, back the fuck up until you learned your lesson. Um, because they do see you as the Ten of Pentacles. They see you as the gift that keeps on giving. They see you as wish fulfillment, as everything that they desire. And again, they want to offer you a new situation. They want to offer you a new cup. But they can't offer you much because they can't even come through as the Emperor. They're not in a position to do that. They are not strong enough to move forward. They're not standing in their strength and truth. How can you reign a kingdom if you can't even look in the mirror, right? So they know they're hesitant to start a new journey towards you. They're hesitant to face you. And they're fighting a lot of energies. I feel like even fighting the want to return to you, just pushing back and even feeling like their feelings have them backed up against the wall because they're, they're fighting this transformation with the death card. But spirit ain't having it. Bottom of the deck, again, fighting it, right? Fighting this position, fighting this celebration, fighting to move forward with the eight of wands coming in, being too focused on the past and what they lost with you and how they betrayed you, too much in their minds. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it here. Um, we can get some spiritual guidance. I'm going to use this work your light oracle deck this time around and we're just going to close it off because they're just too chicken shit okay spirit <laughs> um we could ask you for some spiritual guidance for this situation with our divine masculines okay that's a lot so they're going through an initiation right so it wants you to know that they're going through an initiation which we saw right they're they're fighting an evolution right and they want you to stay within your power because you are the priestess many of you can feel this um and they're going through their own priestess moments. Again, because they're ignoring their, their intuition and their higher self. They're not connecting with themselves, right? But they're birthing a new age. And again, they're fighting this. They're resisting this, right? The age of light. 
Spirit is trying to get them ready on a cellular level by giving them DNA upgrades, but they're not ready for it. They're not ready to receive. They're not ready to acknowledge. Look, you're already doing it in reverse. These are the things that they're not doing, <laughs> right? These are the things that they're not doing. They're being called to answer a call within themselves and they're ignoring it, right? Because they do have the ability to create heaven on earth. So I feel like spiritual advice to you is to unbound yourself from this situation while they're healing. You know, tap into your soul family and get assistance from your ancestors or angels and guides to get you through this if this is something that's hurting you. And just simply trust your path. Trust that spirit has your back. Okay? That being said, you guys, I'm going to leave this message right here. Okay? There will be no extended reading at this time. Um, but you can leave a donation. Um, that's available through the PayPal link below or just leave an energetic tip by giving this video a like comment share and subscribe I love you. I believe in you. You got this. Um I'm sorry guys. They're still on this bullshit <laughs> But I'll talk to you soon and um again. I love y'all